Now I'm going to talk about WandaVision, episode one and two. And I want to say something about the WandaVision thing, because I know previously I talked about how I didn't really, I did Mandalorian season one, and then I started, didn't do season two. And part of me regretted it. I don't know if I'm going to do all of WandaVision. Um, I just want to talk about these two episodes because everyone's talking about it. We'll see how I feel next week. I, I really don't want to commit to doing every one. But I'm doing these two. So that's what's going on. Um, so WandaVision is basically opens up where we see Wanda Maximoff or the Scarlet Witch played by Elizabeth Olsen. And uh, Vision played by Paul Bentley in a kind of 50s sitcom a la Pleasantville or something. And uh, you see them in the first one, they're kind of confused about it, where they are, but they end up in a typical sitcom plot of making dinner for Vision's boss. Um, and it sort of starts off in an interesting way, way where first off they see a heart um, in on the calendar and they're like, oh, is that our anniversary? And they're not sure. And I think a typical sitcom would play it up for laughs and I could see that in a sitcom, but they first play it as like, they're not really sure what's going on. And it kind of plays into the strangeness of the whole thing, which I found actually really interesting because it, they do kind of twist it like, oh, this could be weird, but then they go back to the sitcom plot again. And they kind of go back and forth on that, which I, I found that actually interesting. Um, both episodes are pretty typical standard um, sitcom plots. This one being, you know, you have to make, no one ever does that, has their boss and his wife over for dinner and has to make them like this huge meal or something. They do push it to a ridiculous degree. And then the second episode where they have to do a magic show for the whole town to raise money for the children until you do realize, and I don't know if anyone said this, like they keep saying for the children, but you never see any children in that town, but they say for the children a lot. And I don't know who's supposed to have children. That's the other thing. Like there's no, you know, until Wanda, turns out to be pregnant towards the end spoilers i guess they don't really <laughs> show you any children of any kind um i i generally sort of like this show i don't think it's as strange as people are making it out to be and i didn't find it as interesting as people made it out to be i did think it got 50 sitcoms really well i know those are very standard plots and stuff there's a sort of genius in that sort of structure and things like that and i and i appreciate that they're sort of doing something. Marvel is not known for shooting things different ever. And I'm glad that they actually <laughs> took a different way to shoot something for once, even if it's made like a 50 sitcom and stuff like that. I'm perfectly happy with that. The weird commercials are like fine. I know in the 50s, they only had like one commercial per commercial break. They didn't have what we have now. So it's actually appropriate, but I will say WNUF Halloween special did that shit way better. Um, and I get it's like, let's reference Marvel stuff, but um, I feel like you could have had more fun with that in certain ways. I'm curious what the point is of the sitcom thing. Clearly we get towards the end that she's sort of manipulating it. It sounded to me like we're hearing uh, Randall Park from Fresh Off the Boat, who is in the Ant-Man movies. That's clearly who we're hearing, like Wanda, can you hear me? Stuff like that. But that's who it sounded like to me. I didn't check who was credited. They're actually very short episodes. They're about 20 minutes a piece because Disney Plus puts like a ridiculous amount of credits in terms of like who was the voice of this in Japan. That's cool, put that on a Wikipedia. Don't put that at the end of everything. Like it just, I don't know why they do that. There was like seven minutes of credits on one of them. I do find it a little more interesting and stranger than what Marvel is used to doing, but I don't think it's as strange and as imaginative as it really could be. But I will say within the sitcom sort of format, my initial impression is it did that very well. What it's trying to do artistically, it did pull off. It just, I don't right now understand what the point of it is. I'm sort of waiting for that point to really understand what's going on. But um, Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bentley have good chemistry for a sitcom couple, basically. I, Paul Bentley was way funnier than I thought he would be. Um, and, and I sort of like the idea of it, but I, I'm kind of like, it's like watching the beginning of Pleasantville and not really understanding like what the point of the whole thing is. And right now it's like, I'm just watching a 50 sitcom. And to be honest, it's not like funnier than a normal 50 sitcom. Like I could watch the Honeymooners or the Dick Van Dyke show or something. I don't need to watch this. And uh, which I recommend if you sort of like this, like watch the Dick Van Dyke show. I'm sure you'd like it a lot. This, this is not as funny as that. This is not as interesting as that. Um, I think that's sort of the thing right now. I'm sort of like watching this weird take on it, but I'm not like if I saw a lot of cutaways, dif different sitcoms, I feel like this show kind of almost this, I know we're reviewing these as a whole, but to me, it like almost feels like something that would be better reviewed 
as a as a whole than on an episode by episode basis right now. But again, I haven't seen the whole thing, so I'm just guesstimating. Um, I, I liked WandaVision okay. It didn't grab me, really. It's just like, oh, cool, you did something different, but I didn't really think about it as much. You know, the other things I talked about, this is like my third segment, the other things I'm talking about tonight between Long Gun Gulch and the Sea Lab pilot, I have actually thought about throughout the day. I sort of didn't think about WandaVision, except for like when people remind me about it on Twitter and someone says, hey, did you see WandaVision? And then I forget about it almost immediately. Because it, to me, it's like, I'm just watching like someone do this version of something, but like, I still don't know what the point is. And so it's sort of like this hanging chad in the air or something, trying to understand like what the purpose of the whole thing was. And I'm not exactly sure. It sort of grabs me, but it doesn't grab me as passionately as Marvel stuff usually does. But I appreciate that they're doing something different. Right now, do I have, do I feel passionate about it? Do I really want to see the next episode? I'm sort of like, I guess I will because culture forces me to, but um, otherwise I'm sort of just like, eh, I guess we're okay with WandaVision and it trying to do something different. That's very cool, hats off to you. But um, right now I'm just sort of uh, wondering what the point is and I don't know if it's really going to satisfy me for a while. I'm sort of just, you know, putting up with this because why not? 